On Artemelo, um, Michael, he plays in the same Brazil team as Fabinho. Might that have been a, a key factor in Klopp's thinking? I think the key factor would have been injuries to Thiago. You see Henderson going off uh, last night, so I think you need cover in that position. James Milner's not getting any younger the career he's had. Yeah. I just think you need cover. So the connection with the Brazil, yes, I see that, but I think it would be down to the injuries that occurred with Thiago that you can pick up. Champions League football, lots of games, you need to be competitive, so he needed, he needed cover in that position, or, or at the moment in time, going to be playing. Yeah, I mean, adding him to the signings of Darwin Nunez much earlier in the summer, Fabio Carvalho <coughs> scored the winner last night. So, I mean, where are Liverpool now in terms of competing against Manchester City? We've seen what they've done and the impact of Haaland. Where are they with this squad that they've assembled now? Man City just look phenomenal, don't they? But I, I think you look back to not even that long ago, we were talking about Liverpool doing the quadruple with the squad that they've got. Yes, they've had a lot of injuries and, and you know, injuries to some of the, the sort of key players. But to add in Carvalho, I think, is a great great young talent, you know, watched him a lot in the Championship. Yes, it's a big step up going to Liverpool, but we saw the impact that he, he made um, last night against Newcastle. Nunez, again, we know the qualities that, that he's got, still got a lot to learn, but I'm sure he's going to bring quality to that side. I think a lot of Liverpool fans were disappointed to see Mane go. Um, top quality player, as, as we all know. He scored important goals. He's, he's been key to Liverpool for a good number of years. But I, I just think that Manchester City at the moment just look up there, but I don't think we can forget how close Liverpool were to the quadruple mm. last season. Mm. Ah, I mean, that's, that's touching it, but for me, losing Manny is, was a disaster for Liverpool. And I know they might say they wants to, he wanted to go and, and stuff like that, but I just think when you've got people like that, you've got to do your best to keep them. And by the way, they might have done that and he might have wanted to move on, but you know the numbers that Sadio Mane um, racked up at Liverpool were unbelievable. And you know it's not just it's not just the goals he scored. I think he was a real team player. You know, even if it wasn't, if he was still creating, he was still working. And I think there's maybe one thing. You know, Liverpool. The intensity doesn't seem to be there in the play, and that was one thing that Sadio Mane brought today. You know, one pressing, but two prepared to run in behind without the ball. Um, he's closing down. You know, he's a he's going to be he's a big big miss for them. Big miss. Jota being out the team as well. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. We talked about when he came in. Firmino's come back in and done well. Been magnificent. Yeah. yeah. You see goals at the weekend. Yeah. Goal last night. He's brilliant for them. Yeah. But you, you lose what Jota has. You lose Mane. Yeah. And I believe Liverpool will play into the levels were there. They were the t only team that could get Let's close to Let's put Clinton on the spot. Would you have sold Salah ahead of Manny? Well, I sold him. I wouldn't have sold none of them. I'd keep both of them. But look, if, you had, if one of them had to go... Well, I'm not going to sell any of them. because I'm. I'm <laughs> you're, you're a right good fund, I, no, right? No, you know why? You know why? I'm the chairman and I've got money. I keep both of them. So oh, I keep right, both okay. of them. I don't sell Sadio Mane. But Darwin Nunes will be a good signing. Firmino's good. And I think they got Diaz. Diaz is a, is a, yeah, a yeah, hell of a person. player. Yes. Everyone talks about Liverpool. And yeah, yesterday I think it's a huge result. I think that'd be a big turning point in their season because if they had only drawn that or even lost that game, City would have been ahead this early on in the season. And we all said it last season, they were miles ahead and Liverpool can close the gap. I think it's a big result for them. And that, that, the addition of Arthur in that is a, all their injured players will come yeah. back. Liverpool will be fine this season. But hang on, on Mane, you're the chairman then, Chairman Clinton. <laughs> he comes to you and says, Mr Morrison, I want to go. Well, I then want if to go. You can't keep me out, I want to go. Well, then that, you have to let him go. Because you obviously, he yeah, because if his contract's running out and he comes to me and says he wants to go, then Sadio Mane has to go. He's given me so many brilliant years at um, Liverpool and he's been fantastic. He goes to Bayern Munich, fair play to him. I've got other players. I bring in Nunes, I've got Luis Diaz, I've still got Salah, I've got Firmino, I've got Jota. I've got a lot of attacking options. So, yeah, I, I let him go. But in my world, my chairman world, with my chairman head on, <laughs> I keep everyone. Because Sadio Mane is outstanding. But that's why I'm elite. <laughs> Oh, what a thought, by the way. Chairman of Liverpool. What was, in, what was in that coffee you just had? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Listen, own. we miss Sadio Mane. He's a top player, yeah. but we can't keep talking about him. Liverpool have brought excellent players in. Yeah. It's time to move on. He's a top player. They do miss him, but they've got exciting young players in that squad.